Yo, hey guys, Smallmouth Crush. I got the day off, and it's beautiful. And most anglers would want to go run to productive areas and go smash them. Believe me, I want to today. However, if you want to learn and gather new areas and learn that body of water that you're fishing, sometimes you got to put the poles away. Not saying I'm going to put them all totally away. I'm going to fish today. You got to do a little bit of graphing. You got to do a little searching. So the whole point of this video is I'm going to do a little bit of, uh, I guess, research, a little bit of exploring today and uh, try to break down some certain areas that I want to become more familiar with. So that's what we're going to do. That's all coming up. All right, so here's the deal. I could literally leave the mouth of the river here, run south, run straight out, run to the right, run out that way. And I have areas all over the lake that I know can potentially produce fish. And so whenever I fish, say a tournament or I have a guide trip, I wanna get on the most productive stretch that I feel um, is gonna allow me to catch the biggest you know, smallmouth. And so I have different areas, but a lot of times, some of those areas, even high percentage spots, the fish just are not there. And a lot of times when you're running big water and you have a lot of wind, you're really stuck with your decision for the day. You can't just pick up the trolling motor and go run 20, you know, 15, 20 miles in the opposite direction that easily. And so what I wanna do is focus on some areas where I know there's fish and expand on that. And so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm picking a certain part of the lake. I'm gonna take you guys along. I'm gonna do a lot of graphing, show you what I'm looking for. It's gonna be trolling motor down, trolling motor up, back and forth, up and down all day long, putting in the work. I mean, hopefully, we'll see how long that lasts. I always say I'm gonna do it all day and it end up, uh, you know how it is. But we're gonna to try to stay focused on trying to learn. And we're gonna definitely do some fishing because I gotta see if there's some fish on those areas but I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So let's fire up the Camus. Let's take a little, little run. So I'm just going along graphing here. Uh, this is kind of a, a little hump that's way offshore. Never really fished it before or really caught any you know, I looked at it before in the past, but I just wanted to make a quick little swing through here. And you see we got this boulder right here and here. And so I'm gonna stop and scan it, see if there's anything on it with the uh, forward facing sonar. But there's no fish on it. fish on the rock but which is which is fine I mean there's not always there could they be there someday yes so I'm gonna mark that rock I'll check it every so often and just see if there's anything on it So let me explain my setup. So the 360 allows me to stay on course. I'm just looking for some of this rough stuff over here. That's what these fish are relating to. Individual boulder there. So it allows me to use my live scope. I have it shooting out to 75 feet. So I see this little transition over here at 80 feet. And of course, I can see a fish sitting on it. And so I just position my boat and line up my cast. To that fish. So there's some right there. You can see them on that transition. There they all are. Right there. Let's go catch those. Yeah, 
that's how we got the job done. It's not bad. It's an old fish there. So I use a wide variety of drop shot baits. One of my standard baits is the Gajo Spirit Shad. You guys, a lot of you guys know that. And I just dab it up with a little smallmouth crush magic from Procure. I just think having a little bit of scent helps. It can't hurt. It's a confidence thing. Now you can marinate it or you can just apply as needed, which is what I'm doing now. And I'm just using their uh, the smaller black size. Typical drop shot setup. I'll vary it depending on the mood of the fish, but if I can get away with it, I like a 5 8 ounce weight. What is that? About a foot and a half? 18 inches, liter. I'm using a size 1 Gamagatsu split shot drop shot hook. Of course my uh, 610 St. Croix Legend Extreme medium light. 5 pound high vis yellow Cortland Master Braid. And then I'm using a six pound leader today. Six or eight, whatever the situation. Damn camera shuts off all the time. But I just caught another good one. It's decent. It's decent. Come on. He's all right. I thought he was bigger. We'll take him. Drop it right down on them. And that should be a bite. Uh, broke me up. How? That don't happen much. I guess I had a little nick in the line, apparently. Retie. Fortunately, I was able to uh, salvage the leader. So, you know, I have a bunch of drop shot hooks, and I use, I do use a variety of different ones, but a lot of times I like to nose hook them and expose, you know, exposed hook. I tried this, uh, the decoy shot rig. I heard a lot of good things about it. I had some issues uh, on my hookups. Now. That could be a number of reasons. It could be a terrible hook, and people that recommend it just have no clue. But I don't think that's the case, because I have caught some good ones on it. I'm not discarding that hook just yet. I'll probably experiment. You know, maybe I should try it today. <sighs> Why not? Let's do it. Let's try it again. You know, it could have been the day I used these, you might have recalled that video. Uh, Eric and I were out, and I had like five missed fish on a drop shot in a row. Now, those are shallower fish. I was using a medium instead of a medium light rod. Maybe that has something to do with it. Let's give it another shot here for these deep fish and see. All right, we got that tied on. Now I need to grab some drop shot weights. Open this up. Just for fun and, and whatnot, I just use, uh, I just have a bunch of a 5 8 ounce that I can tie instead of clipping the line through. I just feel like I don't lose as much, as many weights that way. Where the heck is my line? Stuck inside the box. And stuck on something. Come on, man. As Joe Biden would say. Come on, man. All right. And let's go with... Let's go with smoke purple. Can't go wrong with smoke purple ever. There we go. Got Joe Spirit Shad. We'll put some of that smallmouth crush magic. I'm telling you, if you fish the Great Lakes, if you fish anywhere, they're smallmouth. This is a scent you're gonna to wanna to pick up. There's a special blend, okay? I'm not gonna say what it is, but 
it is the right stuff. It is the right stuff. Go over to Procure's website and find that on there. All right, let's get back to work. Oh, that's a big in there, guys. Another five. Maybe a little bigger than five. That's a huge, that's a six pounder there. Got him. That's a stud. God Joe Spirit Shed. And the decoy hook, let's take a look. I mean, it was easy to pop out. I don't know if that means anything, but the size of that guy. see you someday again hopefully bud you're a nice gorgeous fish man wow okay so here's what I'm looking for I'm, I'm side scanning right now and we got a lot of bare bottom and I'm just looking for little changes so there was a rock there you can tell by the shadow that's a decent sized rock and so I marked it and so I'm just looking for different changes whether it be a ledge a cluster of rocks like right up here they don't look as clean meaning I, I feel like they have some moss on it so I'm not gonna mark that cluster So here we have somewhat flat bottom and then we got some rock clusters right here. This is an area, once I get done marking, I'm going to come back and fish. So see these rocks right up here? I'm going to just put a waypoint and I just label it rock and that way I know to come back and search that area a little bit better. Now if it's a big boulder, then I mark it boulder. They could be sitting on all of this right here. Now we have some changes up here. So what you don't see is the long idols and looking for fish. And so I left that area and I, I just searched, searched and searched and really didn't find much. I came upon a group here and they're not biting. Now, I'm pretty sure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm 100% sure that these are sheephead or drum just by the way they move on the live scope. But, not saying there's not some smallmouth around, but when you have this many drum, it's very hard to target using your live scope, obviously. And so I'm gonna take an underwater camera and just verify what these creatures are. I'm gonna show you on the graph what they look like, and uh, we can move on from here if that's what they are. Obviously can't show you guys, but they are drum. I can't get the camera to focus on the thing.
So I, I idled. So I idled a different direction from where I caught those fish just to kind of expand here. And uh, found a few, but these aren't giant. Decoy hook. I, I I just pull it and it comes out, but they're staying on. They're staying on, but uh, sometimes with that gamagatsu, you need a pliers. All my fish so far today, you just pull the hook out, so I didn't lose any. He's only five four. Five four. Well, there you go, long day on the water. I, I found, I'm happy with what I found. So I found that one section where we caught those big fish and I think there's more in there. It's just another tool next time I'm in that area to know to stop and look. I really didn't find a whole lot more. I did actually find a few walleyes that were on a hump in the, in the river and I'll play a few clips I, I wrecked them a little bit. Had a little fun with them. Had to. the key is just to expand your area and keep looking keep searching I spent all day and I found one new area and I really didn't hit anything that I fished in the past so it's a lot of work it's a lot of work doing this I'm happy though I'm happy with what I found I just wish I had more time to do this kind of stuff normally I'm guiding and I have to put people on fish and go to areas that I no, so I don't get to do a lot of exploring, but 
Well, we only burned 20 gallons today. There you go. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave any likes and comments. Let me know what you thought about this video, please. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.